हेलो एवरीवन आफ्टर स्टडिंग द वॉल्केनिक और वॉल्केनिक इरप्शन इन डिटेल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स विच आर विच आर बीन क्रिएटेड आफ्टर द वॉल्केनिक इरप्शन सो व्हाट इज एन वॉल्केनिक लैंड फॉर्म एज वी ऑल नो वेन एवर अ वॉल्केनिक इरप्शन टेक्स प्लेस लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ मटेरियल कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द अर्थ क्रस्ट सो दीज मटेरियल वेन इट कम्स initially it is very hot but later on as it cools down then we say that it is a lava so when it cools down all this material it has the quality of the rock this gets converted into the sedimentary rocks so these rocks create a different different landforms the land it looks different as when it was looking as, or it was it is looking different as compared to how it was looking before the volcanic eruption so let us study volcanic landforms in detail so what are volcanic landforms in the figure you can see different different landforms like cinder cone lava plateau ash cone with volcanic dome volcanic neck with radiating dikes caldera with cinder cone ash flows composite volcanoes so all these are different different landforms we will study one by one them all of them in detail let us understand what is volcanic landform first volcanic eruption pulls material up from deep within the earth to form various volcanic landforms such as lava domes lava plateau fissure eruption craters and calderas since magma that forms under the earth crust can reach temperature of around 2000 degree fahrenheit magma is hot molten rock that builds in pressure and explodes from the volcanoes as lava so volcanic eruption is a way for the earth to blow off a little steam and at the same time pull materials from deeper layers of the earth to form new crust on the surface so whenever the volcanic eruption takes place lot of hot molten magma comes out with lot of pressure so because of this the steam which is present inside the earth surface it is been released and the materials which is present inside the deepest layer that materials they come out and they are getting deposited on the earth surface the way a volcano erupts and the material that makes up the magma and lava of a particular volcano have a lot to do with the formation of volcanic landforms such as crater caldera lava domes and lava plateaus so what type of material comes out what type of lava or magma comes out that is very important for the formation of different different volcanic landforms which are created after the volcanic eruption now the first or the very first volcanic landform is lava domes you know the dome shape how it looks so it is uh, not necessary to explain what is dome in the figure you can see a big dome which is created because of magma and because of lava okay so this type of shape when a volcano takes place during the eruption then we call it as lava domes domes are developed when magma comes out and solidifies around its mouth the shape of the dome depends upon the fluidity of a lava high dome with steep slopes are developed by acidic lava so whenever the lava is fluid and it is acidic and when it comes and gets solidified around the mouth that time we say that it has created a lava dome shape or lava dome landform due to basic lava broad base low domes are also developed so when the lava is basic basic means what when the silica content in the lava is less then we say that it is a basic lava so when the lava is basic that time the domes have a low dome is developed as compared to the acidic lava a lava dome is a circular mold shaped protrusion resulting from the slow extrusion of viscous lava from a volcano so it is it has a circular molded shape 
Dome building eruptions are commonly and particularly in conversion plate boundary setting. Around 6% of eruption on the earth are lava dome forming. So, amongst all the uh, volcanoes, only 6% of the volcanic eruption comes under lava dome landform. Next is lava plateau. Now, this type of plateaus are generally created when uh, the fissure type of volcano takes place. The fissure type of volcano we have already uh, studied in the volcano. In the volcano video, you can go through it. Due to the spread of uh, lava in huge con quantity from fissure volcano, it covers large area and plateaus are formed. So, the fissure volcano, the lava comes in large amount and it is in a liquid state because of that because of this it spreads wider and large area is getting covered so because of this the plateaus are created the deccan trap in india has developed from the volcanic eruption millions of years ago so in india the deccan plateau is created because of the volcanic eruption and hence they have been created because of Fisher volcanoes. Lava plateaus are formed highly because of fluid basaltic lava during numerous successive eruption to numerous vent without violent explosion. So, whenever the plateaus are created, that time the volcanoes they erupt from small small vents from after some distance a small vent gets opened, after some distance a small vent gets opened. So all these vents, they remove the lava out of it and the lava which is removed, it is not much violent. The explosion is very much less. This type of eruption is called as quiet eruption. As this eruption, the explode, it doesn't explode, it doesn't make much noise. It gets, it comes out slowly but it covers large area. These eruptions are quiet because of low viscosity of lava so that it is very fluid and contains small amount of trapped gases. As the gas content is less because of this, the explosion is very much nil and because of this, these are called as quiet eruptions also. Now we will study about caldera. Caldera is a type of eruption which brings a large quantity of material and reveals relieves lot of pressure also now when a volcano brings large amount of material out with lot of pressure then this type of landform is created when the eruption takes place or after the eruption takes place a deep depression or deep hole is created in that area why? Because all the material gets exploded and it, get, it is thrown out at a large distance and at different different areas. So, that much place it gets vacant and because of that the depression is created in that particular area. A volcano sits on top of a magma chamber. So, on the top of the magma the volcano sits and if the volcanic eruption causes the magma chamber to empty, the volcano can implode forming a large depression known as caldera. So, a caldera can be defined as large volcanic crater from, formed by the collapse of the central part of the volcano. So, all the central part from where the volcano has erupted, it becomes a big collapse or a big hole or a big depression is created. These can be around 10 kilometers wide and hundreds of meters deep. So the depth is of about 100 meters and the wideness is about 10 kilometers. They may later turn into lakes. Smaller calderas are also known as craters. So as the depression is created, it also gets turned into the lake also. After the rainfall, the water gets accumulated and it can also be called as Craters. Now, what are crater lakes? When the funnel shaped crater of an extinct volcano is filled with rainwater, it forms a crater lake. Or many volcanoes, there is a crater which has a bowl shape. So, whenever a caldera is created and water is accumulated in it, 
then it becomes an crater lake it has a shape of bowl all the rain water gets accommodated inside the portion which has a deep depression the depression at the top of the volcano caused by the past volcanic eruption so whenever the volcanic eruption or uh, since many many years or extinct volcanoes which have already been taken place so such volcanoes or that area gets turned into the crater lake also craters can be thought of as the volcano blowing its lead because it is where volcanic material such as ash lava and rock fragments are released a volcanic crater is relatively small usually spanning about half a mile in diameter or less and can fill with water to form a crater lake so these are usually small which has a less diameter and and it can have a capacity to fill a water up to some extent in the image you can see the crater lake which is in usa next is volcanic plug now in the image you can see the eruption what type of eruption has been created so since the mountain the lava or the molten lava it comes out from the vent so all the material gets deposited around the neck of that mountain on the up or on the apex of that mountain then it creates a plug and that plug is called as volcanic plug it is formed when the lava solidifies at the volcanic neck it is also called as volcanic plug a volcanic neck or lava neck is a volcanic object created when magma hardens within a vent on a active volcano so whenever a magma comes out and it gets solidified or hardened at the neck itself at the mouth itself then it gets converted into volcanic plug when present a plug can cause an extreme built up of pressure if rising volatile charged magma is trapped beneath it and this can sometimes lead to explosive eruption also so mag a volcanic plug this type of eruption if it becomes volatile it can lead to explosive eruptions also next is kinder cone now this type of uh this type of eruption has an ejected a large quantity of solid material so the material consist of ash it can consist of brasses kinders are half burnt pieces of solid material the solid material is deposited around the mouth until a conical hill which steep slope is formed so in this case what happens the kinders come out what are the kinders they are the solid materials uh, from the volcanic ash and these solid materials are half burnt not fully burnt so they get deposited around the mouth and forms the steep slopes surrounding the whole mountain so that time you get a cone shape or a conical hill so that is called as kinders example is mount nevo in italy the kinder cones are small cones with steep slopes so these are these are having the shape of a cone and they have the steep slopes they are very small uh, these are the ones you probably hear about they are very explosive and they are made up of ash and rock most of the kinder cones are small and less than 500 meters high so the height is very small they are less than 500 meters height also a famous kinder cone is sunset crater volcano in arizona so this is the famous kinder cone next is composite cone now this type of cone is created with the combination of two layers the la the layer of lava and the layer of kinder now lava is 100% hot molten or hot molten magma and what is kinder kinder is what the half burnt material the half burnt solid materials are called as kinders this cone is composed of two materials hence it is called as composite cones and it has a symmetrical shape so example is mount helens in usa 
composite cones are the tallest type of volcanoes they look very impressive but do usually have quiet and slow lava flows they sometimes have small eruptions that cause ash and rock to go flying out one of the most famous volcano in the world is a composite volcano it is found in mount fuji in japan so mount helens and mount fuji in usa and japan respectively have the composite cone type of volcano so these it consists of two materials hence it is called as composite so what are the two materials first is lava and second is cinder so it it is generally seen in the tall or the tallest type of volcano and large amount of eruption is also seen with a release of ash and flying of flying rocks are released during this type of volcano thank you for watching